Hello guys and welcome to my channel. First of all, I would like to thank everyone who has subscribed to my channel so far. I appreciate each and every one of you. I cannot explain how much I really do appreciate you all subscribing to my channel and watching the video. You guys are the reason I have and I will continue to upgrade my channel to try to make the best content I can. Now I've wanted to do one of these videos for, for a while now. I was going to do it on the one year anniversary of this channel, which will be March the 11th. Uh, but I changed my mind and I decided to do it in January and probably do it every January, kind of a state of the channel or state of play on my channel kind of update. I want to do it as kind of a look back of the year past of what happened, the games I've enjoyed, the games I didn't, and also to look forward to the future, just what games are coming out the next year. First of all, I want to give you all a little background on me. I started playing video games back in 1980 on the original Atari 2600 system, and I actually still have that game system over here in my game room. And of course, I went through the Nintendo and the Super Nintendo age. But around 1990, my gaming slowed down tremendously. I was a freshman in high school, and I really started digging on the ladies. <laughs> But I still had game systems, and I played all the time, but just didn't play nowhere near as much as I had in the past. Then I graduated school in about 1994. I got married in 2001, and of course, played video games during that whole time, but I, my video game playing really picked up in 2001 after I got married and I got moved into a house with my wife. Also, something you all may not know about me from my channel where I play the video games, I'm actually an avid video game collector as well. I've kept every system I've ever bought, and I've actually added some to it through the years. Right now, I think I have somewhere around 30 to 35 systems, over 5,000 games. Most of them are in the storage, but I got most of my game systems down here uh, lined up under some TVs and stuff and maybe one day i will do a um, game room tour on this channel and kind of show off what i got going on it's a mess right now because my basement is a, a complete mess i'm not going to show it on <laughs> on this video but maybe sometime this year I'll, i will work on doing a game room video and kind of show you where I, I film at here and then uh, my game section but with every game that you see on this channel that i play every system that i played on will actually be played with the original game cartridge disc whatever it may be on and it will be on the original hardware that the game was played on i won't do any emulators on this game on this channel everything will be straight from whatever it is nintendo playstation 2 whatever it is be the original game system and the controllers and the whole kit kaboot. On to why I have this channel. Of course, like everybody else, I really enjoy watching gaming YouTube channels. I have a lot of channels that I watch. I got a few favorites. Big shout out to Rad Brad, who is probably one of my favorite video game channels. And then also there's uh, Mars and uh, Willie B. I really like them quite a bit. Watch them all the time. If you're not familiar with any of them, I'll leave some links in my descriptions to their channels where you can check them out. Now, I know there's a lot of other great gaming channels out there, and I watched quite a few of them, but I'm, I'm just telling you those are my favorites. So I decided one day, I thought it would be really cool to have a YouTube page that I could beat games and document on a YouTube page. When I started this page, here. I never dreamed that anybody would subscribe to this. This was kindly mainly for me just to document the games that I beat and complete on this channel. So subscribers really never entered my mind at all when I started. And then I started gaining subscribers. I was like, oh my god. So after I seen that people would subscribe to my channel and would watch the videos that I was putting out, I decided to invest in my content. I made a dedicated Twitter page just to the Backlog Gamer channel. I made a Facebook page just dedicated to the Backlog Gamer channel. And I actually had an Instagram page that I turned over into the Backlog Gamer channel that was my gaming collecting page before where I would collect stuff and I would take pictures of it and put it on there. So if you go to my Instagram page, you will actually see quite a bit of my collection on that page. Right now, I'm, I'm working on getting some videos on there, gaming videos and stuff, and then kind of mix it up a little bit. But it's, it's kind of new to me right now. I'm trying to filter through the weeds and see what I need to do and what works, what don't work, and I'm just kind of, you know, in that process right now. And also, once I started getting subscribers on my page, I decided that I wanted to do it. If I gained subscribers, if this page was to grow, I wanted it to do it organically. I didn't want to do the sub for sub. I don't want to do the little side hustle stuff to gain subscribers, all the little, you know, five tricks to gain a, a YouTube subscribers, or this is how you get your first thousand or whatever, I actually just wanted to produce videos and produce the best quality videos I could and put them on the on the uh, YouTube. On the YouTube. <laughs> uh, I'm showing my age now. Uh, in case you didn't know, I do love coffee too. It's my favorite thing. I love drinking coffee. Mm, that's good stuff. Mm. Nectar of the gods right there. So anyways, I want people to enjoy my content enough to want to subscribe to my channel. I don't have to pull any tricks or suffer sub and all that stuff, like I said. And likewise, the people that I enjoy their content, I subscribe to. I don't expect them to subscribe back to me. I will subscribe to people that I enjoy their content and watch their content and comment and interact with them on their content. So with that being said, like I said at the first video, and that's why I can't thank you enough if you are subscribed to my channel and you watch my videos, I appreciate you more than I could ever explain. I will be constantly upgrading content on this channel. I will be upgrading cameras like this year. For instance, I'm getting ready to, we've got a friend that does gaming computers and I'm getting ready to build me a brand new computer to record all this on. I'm, I'm working off a laptop right now, which is fine. It's a HP Pavilion gaming laptop and it does great. It just sounds like a jet engine. I've got it on the on my desk up here and where my mic is at, when that thing is running and starts to cool itself, it sounds like a freaking, and I say this a million times, but it sounds like a jet engine. When you see my microphone that I record off of, I've actually got a box built around my microphone, soundproof inside of it to where that sound don't get into the microphone and hear brrrr 
through the whole video. <laughs> so now I've told you a little bit about myself and why I made this channel and what my goals are for this channel. Let's talk a little bit about 2019. And then when we talk about those, we will talk about what's coming up here in 2020. Now, when I started this channel back in 2019, like I said, I was kind of doing it for myself to document games that I had beaten. And so I was actually recording a lot of my game footage when I first started off my PlayStation 4. I would record it off the PlayStation 4. The mic headphones that I'm wearing right now till my new ones come in, my headphones, I was recording the audio through that and then just uploading it to an SD card and then taking it to my computer and then uploading and editing there. Uh, slowly but surely through the year, I upgraded with the videos I'm at now. I've got a, a, a face cam and uh, the Elgato capture card. So I'm kind of recording more content now than I could at first off of different consoles. So what I want to talk about first about 2019, I guess, is probably my top five favorite games of 2019. The ones that are on my channel that I got to play and I got to beat. And we'll just do a, a top five countdown starting at number five. I think my number five game that I enjoyed this year was probably Luigi's Mansion because I've never actually played a Luigi's Mansion. I never played it on the GameCube or the handheld. So this is my first interaction with the Luigi's Mansion and I had a good time. And actually my wife played it too and she played it and beat it. But anyways, that's a whole different story. Probably number four on my list would be Link's Awakening. I enjoyed that game a lot, which I love all the Zelda games from the first one to Breath of the Wild. I can't wait for them to release Breath of the Wild 2, which I think is just going to be a rehash of the original Breath of the Wild, but we'll see. Number three on my list is a game that actually pleasantly surprised me. I didn't really think that I would like it going into it. I had seen other people play it, namely Brad Brad, and it looked like a, a game that was kind of down my alley, the one that I would like, and that's A Plague's Tale. But I really enjoyed that game. There's a lot of puzzling in that game. There wasn't a whole lot of fighting or action. I mean, there was action in that game, but I mean, it wasn't like you was having to fight off onslaughts of people. You just kind of sneaking around them and throwing, you know, your little whip at people and all that stuff, and you had to get behind carts that were rolling while people were shooting arrows at you and stuff. I really, really actually enjoyed that game quite a bit more than I thought I was going to. Number two on my list for 2019, I'm going to have to say would be Days Gone. I really enjoyed that game. I loved it a lot. It was a really long game, but it was well done. I mean, yes, it had glitches in it when it came out. Uh, probably still has glitches. I haven't played it in quite a while, but when it came out, I enjoyed it. The whole, the storyline in it, mechanics of the game, riding the motorcycle around it. If you didn't have a motorcycle, and I never, when the game came out, I remember seeing the developers talk about wanting a game where if you didn't have your motorcycle, it was like a pain to get anywhere in that game, and it really was. I mean, if you didn't have a motorcycle, you was out in left field somewhere. There was a couple times I got stranded without a motorcycle, and it's absolutely horrendous. And probably number one on my list, I'm gonna have to say, and I don't know if it's just because I played it recently, it's the last big game that I played this year. My number one favorite game of 2019 would have to be Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. I really love that game. I haven't never, I have never played the, the the games, and they talked about it being like certain other games that I'd never played, where you had to parry with people, and you just couldn't go Rambo through everything. You had to kind of have a, have a little thought process of how to get through enemies. And plus it's Star Wars, which I'm a huge, huge fan of Star Wars. I love Star Wars. And so I thought that was probably, probably, <laughs> That was probably my favorite Star Wars game ever that I've ever played. If you talk about the, the games that you like for 2019, I've got to talk about the games I didn't like. Or I can't say that I didn't like, but the ones that were the most frustrating to me to play. The ones that was just like, and there's one game that comes to mind, actually two, but one of them I finished. It was a grind to do it. I don't know how to explain this game other, if you haven't played it, it's it's just a grind. You just got to just go and go and go and like keep fighting the same boss and go fight him and go, and finally you beat him and then you get on to the next part and then, you, uh, was control. Before it came out, I thought, man, this is right in my wheelhouse. I love these kind of games, and it's in a, in a fixed location, and you've got all these cool weapons and all this stuff. Everything about the game was really cool, actually, like levitating and, and floating around, and all the stuff that they done was really well done. Game mechanics, the controls, everything was really good, but just it was just frustratingly hard, just so frustratingly hard. I raged quit that game so many times, you don't understand. I was actually going to quit at one point in time and be like, I can't beat this game and I can't play it. All in all, I thought 2019 was a great year. There's a lot of great games that come out in 2019 to play. So what will my page look like in 2020? Well, I made a promise to myself when I first started this page that I was gonna put out a video every single day for one complete year, and that's gonna be March the 11th of this year. So up to March 11th this year, there should be a video hitting every single day. Now, after March the 11th, I would like to say that I'm going to continue putting out a video every day. I can't promise that because it is hard as balls to do. And I don't feel like, to be honest with you, putting out a video a day, I don't feel like I'm putting out the best quality gaming videos. And like right now, I've started messing a lot more into the editing of these games and, and um, sound quality, the editing, you know, different things in the game. It's taking a lot longer to edit the games now than it did when I first started. Because when I first started, I could edit a video, my gaming videos, in, in no time. I mean, you just chop, 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 and then put it together, boom, send it out, and it's done. Now, there's a lot more of the face cam and stuff. And plus, I'm starting to do some zoom in on the face and some pop around and, and different things and trying to make it more entertaining for you all watching. And so, I don't know that after March 11th if they will come out every day should be every two days to three days at the longest i'm gonna try to do it every day still but i don't know that i will after march 11th and oh my god how can we talk about 2020 and not talk about the last of us part two i cannot wait for this game oh my gosh the first last of us i played through that game probably nine or ten times now i absolutely love that game i love naughty dog i love everything about it and i can't wait to play that game that's probably going to be a game that i will do a daily 
uh, video on and it's going to be rough on me because I'm actually planning on taking off that day of work that it comes out. It comes out on a Friday, I believe. Anyways, guys, with well, that being said, if you haven't already, please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel and we are going to go on head on into uh, 2020. And like I said, I haven't done one of these videos before and I've been wanting to do it for a while. And I'll probably, right now, my plans are to just do these videos once a year in January, kind of a state of a play on my personal channel. Guys, again, thank you all for subscribing and we will see you all in the next video.